I was in church. I was anointed. I was preaching. Miracles were happening. I was struggling financially. Saints. I was borrowing money. Miracles were happening. But I was struggling since 1982, 83, 83. We bought the land. I was not paying it. I gave him the car. I had met T.L. Osborne. He had given me a garment. But I was begging people who are not even believers to lend me money to buy a one-way ticket to the U.S. or U.K. So they put me on a program to preach with my spiritual father. Talk to this pastor to invite me to preach. They knew Benson Idahosa. Benson Idahosa, Bali Bamumani. So for him, he came, he came to preach. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this man said, "Okay, Robert Robert can preach." In the in the moon, the oh, young man. Oh, 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 very very young. And uh, so I go there to preach. In the morning, oh, the word of knowledge was powerful. Miracles were wonderful. In the afternoon, the pastor after lunch, he gave me an envelope. It had a check of a thousand dollars. Nobody has ever given me a thousand dollars. And their secretary was my secretary. So I was going to take that check. Put it there. there. They put it in, I get money, I get the $400, pay back the taxes, I mean the, the ticket that brought me, I may be remaining with the 200 or something like that. I'm struggling to get sound system. And here comes Idahosa. Very tall, very loud. Now Nigerian typical accent. Omo Nigeria with the minimum. So he turned around and said, You must be Kayanja. I said, Yes, sir. As T.L. Osborne told me, I sat here. The pastor here. The pastor here. His wife. The pastor here. The pastor here. His wife. The pastor here. 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 All white people. The favor the man had was operating. The faith the man was operating. I said, yeah, he's dressed in Nigerian garment. And I said, I think I need a Nigerian garment. Because when you wear that thing, things move. Miracles happened. <clears throat> then he said, Nagamba. We need to help this church to be finished. Today, Lero. This is the day we are paying. We are not going to be able to so everybody in this room this is 1986 I'm not talking about today 1986 everybody is going to give a thousand dollars I said okay okay Kale. You have to tell these Americans. They have the money. You are the first one. I said, Me? No. And the man went on and 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 Come on, bring a thousand dollars. I said, I don't have it. He said, you have it. On your back pocket. I had put the envelope. On my back pocket. I even fastened the battle. Was my livelihood depended on that? I wondered how the man had known that. I told him, I Nagamba, you have to give that a thousand dollars. Let me tell you when I went to Uganda. In 1979, after Idi Amin had been kicked out, they invited me. He turned to me, is so and so still there? Mpora Mpora. Mpora Mpora was my singer. Is Mpora 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 Mpora
These people had no bathroom, they had a toilet. And when I went in, when I came out, all the flies followed me. I got more annoying. I said, you have to go this way. Because you want my other Then a lady came to bail me out. She brought $800. $850 and some change. I have something to say. He turned to the woman. He said, what? He said, it seems bad, but he doesn't have Arabic the money. Sent, I have $850 here. Dollars if someone, someone has a more, can add on. He said, what's going to bring it? He said, what's going to There were even some coins. He hit the money in the face of the white woman. Nagamba, you should never said, do this. You people came to Africa. You enslaved us. Even when God is delivering Nekato us. Here you come. Nezibaleta trying to bail us Mugezako out. Tutasa. That's why you give us used tea bags. The woman started to shake and tremble. I said, this man now is out. It's only two black men. 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 The white people are going to die. And they said, these black men kill the white people. I wanted to take and off. And he turned to me. Nagamba, bring that a thousand Nagamba dollars. I stopped speaking English. I started arguing in Luganda. Let me tell you. Whenever you're in the spirit, and you start speaking, just know the devil doesn't want to let you go. It's hard for blacks to quarrel in English. In a foreign land, when you're angry, when you say, you, 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 back in your native language in and you quiet, say, bring ten thousand dollars no it's not me when they hold on to you then you start speaking swahili then you start speaking arguing the man turned and said even if you quarrel in your language and I was speaking quietly here Another white wool lady lifted up her finger. I want to go to the bathroom. I to sit down. Pull her once. Lock the door. That's when I said, you know. I said, let me pull out the a thousand. So that people won't die here. I pulled it out. I signed it and gave it to him. But in my heart, I knew after the service, we were going to attend the service for dinner. I said, I will ask him for my money. I'll tell him you brought problems. I thought you were going to kill these white people. It's the only reason I gave him money. That's my money to take me back home. I need my $1,000. When I released the thousand, it was like I released and loosed the white people. They all pulled out checks. Those days were days of check. check. They pulled out check books and all of them were dropping money. I had never seen money. The entire pulpit was green with dollars. He came where I was. Because I was standing, shouting and clapping. The man laid his hand on me. <laughs> you know when they have put uh, uh, 50 tons on you I never felt that heaviness on me I found myself on the floor. He told me you'll never be poor again. All the days of your life.